everyone, Renee here. If you're looking for a full body strength training workout, then you are in the right place. In today's workout, we are going to utilize some moderate heavy weight as well as a light weight, and it consists of two supersets, then three single sets. So no worries, you don't have to remember that. This is all gonna be, you know, around the 40 minute mark or so. I am also going to use my couch as well, and we, I'll tell you as we go, like I said, no worries on that, but you will want that and that's about it. So make sure that you are warmed up. I'm gonna do a quick little warm up here, but you wanna make sure that your muscles are all ready to go. Just kind of step it side to side. So it's gonna be pretty traditional weight training. Each move we're gonna do for about a minute. The supersets will be one move right into the other, and then you'll have a 30 second break, and then we'll repeat them three times through, okay? So let's bring our arms to 90 right here and just roll your shoulders back, nice and slow, and then roll your shoulders forward. Okay, I'm gonna show you the first couple moves. You can keep warming up, make sure that your muscles are ready to move. You don't just wanna surprise them and get to work. So the first move is simply walking lunges. I am going to hold two 15 pound dumbbells and we're simply gonna do walking lunges. So I will start back here, okay? And I'm going to take as many lunges as I can in this direction. And I am going to try to balance in between. You can tap your toe down here. I want you to take long strides and think of a slight hinge forward so that you're really working your glute. If you're up here, that's okay, but you'll work your quad a little bit more. So I want to hinge forward and really place the weight in that front heel, okay? And I'll be carrying dumbbells on each side, and then I'll just swivel around and I'll just keep going back and forth for the full minute. If your balance is off on the walking lunges, you can always take lunges standing, alternating right here and have a hand on the wall. Again, make sure that you have that slight hinge forward and you're really pushing off with that front heel, okay? The second move of this first superset will simply be chest presses. So you'll make your way down to the floor. You want your arms at about a 45 degree angle here and then you'll press straight up and down and we'll be there for a minute then you'll get a 30 second break and we'll repeat those two moves. So that's all you need to know for right now. That's our first superset. We're gonna get started to so get a sip of water. I'm gonna start our timer and we have 10 seconds. Okay, so I have my 15 pound dumbbells. I'm gonna come way back here so that I have some room to move. Ready, here we go. Step forward and up. Yeah, so you're here for a minute. Really think of leaning forward so you're putting weight in the front glute. Your glutes stay squared off. And then swivel around as needed. If you have a long enough space, to go in one direction, great. Nice. Remember, you can always tap your toe down. Yeah, so just keep going. You have 30 more seconds here. Press into your front heel, and that's what you're pushing up and activating your hamstring and your glute. Slight hinge forward. Beautiful, 15 more seconds. So get your last few in, breathe, take two more, last one, okay, come down to the floor, you have one minute of chest presses, so press up and down, nice and slow and controlled on the way up and the way down, I like to think two counts up and two counts down, breathe, I want you to picture that if you're holding your heaviest weights possible, so that mind to muscle connection is so important. Make sure that you're gazing straight up at the ceiling, trying not to turn your head here. Yes. Nice work. You have 25 more seconds, and then you'll get your first 30 second break. Then we're gonna repeat these two moves. Two more times through. Pull your abs in. Nice and tight. Slow control. Okay, so these ones are a little light for me, so I might try to take it up a notch. We'll see. Or I might just stay here. I'm really liking the form, though. Okay, set your weights down. 30 seconds, get a sip of water, and then we're going right into those two moves. Okay, just kind of step it side to side. You have 20 more seconds here. Really just let your body kind of shake out your muscles. You don't want to do too much stretching, but you kind of shake them out, let them go. You have 10 more seconds. I'm gonna grab my weights. I'm gonna to start to get into place. And then we have five, four, three, 
two, one, go. So step forward and up. Yes. Okay, so just like that, you're also working on balance. But as you're doing these walking lunges, make sure that you're not trying to walk on a tightrope, that you're actually giving yourself some space between your feet. You can even stagger it if balance is what's, you know, kind of tripping you up here. Breathe into this. Remember, weight in that front heel. You have 30 more seconds. Your heart rate is going to get up here when we're working these big muscle groups. Strength training is adding some cardio, is getting some heart help here too. So you don't have to think just strictly cardio. Our strength training can do it as well. You have eight more seconds. And we're going right down. Take one more. Beautiful. Okay, here we go. One minute chest press. This time I want you to think maybe four counts up and four counts down. So just a little bit slower, even more in control. Yes, you're here for a minute. Quality, you have time. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. You just have one more time through these moves. Make sure that you're lifting heavy enough weights so that you feel fatigued in your muscle group when you're done. Yes. You have 15 more seconds. Keep taking it slow and controlled. Feeling this in the corners of your chest. Press up and press down. Last one. Okay. 30 seconds, and then one more time through both those moves. Moving right along here. Superset one is almost done. 20 more seconds, just kind of shake it out. We're gonna fatigue these muscles right here. So you have just about 12 more seconds. I'm grabbing my weights, coming back into place. You have five, four, three, two, one, go. Okay, so one minute. Remember, no matter where you're at, no matter which lunges you're doing, think of a little hinge forward so that you're really putting weight in your front glute. Yes. Beautiful. And just work with the space that you have. Maybe you, you, have, maybe you don't have any space to the walking lunge. That's okay, just alternate lunges. This is your last set here. Walking lunges always gets my heart rates up. It's working your big muscle groups. Remember, the more muscle you have in your lower body, the faster your metabolism. So this is a good thing right here. Whew, I was wobbling. Squeeze in, nice and tight. Yes. Okay, last couple. That's it. Come to the floor. Final chest presses, here we go. I'm gonna elevate my glutes just a couple inches. Not because I want more glute work, but because it, you know, a different angle for your chest to work. So I like this angle here. Yes, control the weights in both directions. Like I said, my weights are a little light for me, so right now I am visualizing holding the heaviest weights possible. So I'm really putting that mind to muscle connection and using my own body to burn out my chest muscles. Yes, breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. You have 15 more seconds. And we're going on to the next superset. Nice work. Breathe. A little bit more. You have one more. Okay, that's it. Set those off to the side. Okay, the next superset, dumbbell hip thrust and pullovers. This is where we're gonna use the couch. Okay, so I'm gonna move these weights a little bit out. I do have one minute here of rest. So get some water, take a rest. So hip thrust, thrust will look like this. You're going to place your back so that right underneath your shoulder blades is on your couch, or if you're wearing a sports bra, it's at the base of your sports bra. 
Feet are in front of you, think knees over ankles, and then you just lift your hips and lower. I'm gonna place a weight on my hips, 30 pounds. And then pullovers will look like this. You'll come laying on your couch, shoulders will be, and head are supported, and arms, you'll hold the weight, we'll just go back and forth, just like that. Okay, we'll hold 15 for those, 30 for my hip thrust. Okay, so I'm gonna get into place, put the weight on my hips, get situated, and you have four, three, two, one, go. Hips lift and lower. Yes. Okay, so you wanna be gazing directly forward. Yes. So I want you to think of almost tucking your hips up to find your neutral spine and then you press down. And press your feet into the floor as if you're going to go through the floor. So think of pressing your feet away from your hips as they lift. Nice work. Beautiful. Keep going 30 more seconds. And then I'm gonna quickly grab my one 15 pound dumbbell and come onto my couch. Yes. Breathe through this. Maybe you close your eyes. Really think of the muscle group at hand. So think of your glutes doing the lifting and lowering. Breathe. Few more. Last one. Okay, so I'm gonna set my heavy weight down. I'm going to grab my 15, come onto the couch, make sure that your head is supported, weight up, and here we go. Back and up. Okay, so you have one minute right here. Breathe. So your arms are straight, coming right up in front of your chest here. You're feeling this in your upper back all the way down. Breathe through this. Think of pressing your lower spine into the couch here. Nice work. So make sure that you have a heavy enough weight, but one that's not too heavy that you're feeling any pain. You want to feel this muscle burn, not pain. There's a difference. You have 15 more seconds. Keep going. You've got this, then you'll have your 30 second break here, and then two more times through the super. Building muscles so important. Okay, that's it. Okay, set the weight off to the side. We will grab that again, but you have 30 seconds. I'm gonna grab some water. And then we're coming into our hip thrust. Okay, 20 more seconds right here. If your weight was too easy for either one of those, try to up it, whether that means just adding an extra five pounds, an extra weight, you know, whatever it is that you are able to do. Okay, so we have eight more seconds. I'm gonna grab my 30 pound, put it on my hips. Get situated, three, two, one, go. Lift and lower. Yes, okay, so press your feet down as your glutes go up and think of keeping engagement on your muscle even on the down motion. Yes, nice work. This is superset number two. And then we will do this one more time through. And then no more supersets, just some single moves. Stay with me 30 more seconds. Feel this. Backs of your thighs, your glutes right here are on fire. It's a good thing. Abs are also pulling in. So think abs pull in in the opposite direction of your glutes. So opposing forces working together for one goal. Strengthen your muscles in your lower body. Okay, that's it. Set that weight off to the side. I'm grabbing my other weight, coming onto my couch. Remember, head is supported. Weight up, here we go. Back and up. Yes. Nice work. Breathe through this. Smile. You're here for a minute, so slow controlled on the way down and slow and controlled on the way up. Feel this in your back. That's where the mind to muscles going. You have 25 more seconds. Try to burn out this muscle. Try to fatigue your muscle right here. You only have one more time through both of these moves. Keep going. And smile because you can, you have five more seconds. 
That's it. Okay, 30 second rest. One more time through both those moves. And then you'll get a minute, a minute rest before we're going to the next. I'm gonna just tell you, you have 20 more seconds here before we're gone. I am going to grip ankle weights. I think I forgot to say that at the beginning. I know I forgot to say that at the beginning. I'm gonna grip ankle weights for the next move. You clearly do not need them, but just so kind of give you heads up. Okay, you have 10 more seconds. I'm gonna get set. Weight goes on my hips. You'll be able to grab them in your minute break. No worries. Three, two, one, go. Hips lift and lower. You can also take your hands and just press down as you lift up to add a little more resistance here. So you don't want your chin tucked in. You just want a nice gaze forward. This just helps to keep your neck neutral. Last time through with these hip thrusts. So make it a good one. I love this move so for really getting deep into our glute, really pushing up our glute muscle. 30 seconds. And then we're going into pullovers. And then we'll be done with this superset. It goes by fast. already almost been with me for 15 minutes and you have 12 more seconds right here squeeze on the way up and squeeze on the way down nice one more okay set that weight off to the side grab your other weight Whew. here we go overhead and press up Nice work. Control this. Abs are still engaged. Feel this in your back and your shoulders. After this, you have a one minute break. Maybe you're gonna grab some ankle weights. Yes, keep going. Keep working here. 20 more seconds. You want to control this. So I'm taking my time on the way down and taking my time on the way up. Feel this down your entire back. Yes. Couple more. Take one more right here. All the way down and all the way up. Okay, set that weight off to the side. I'm gonna grab my ankle weights. You have one minute, get a sip of water. If you want your ankle weights, grab them too. I know, I don't know how I forgot to grab these. Okay, so I'm gonna place my ankle weights on. Grab yours, I have two pound ankle weights. You still have 40 more seconds, so you have time. No worries. I can't get mine, there we go. Okay, I will link the ones that I have. I have a couple pairs. These are the ones that work closest, so these are what I'm putting on. You have just about 30 more seconds, and then we're actually gonna lay on our couch again. No worries. And this is one minute on each leg. Okay, ankle weights are on. So we're gonna come onto our couch and our, I need to move my timer, I won't be able to see it. Okay, and our bottom leg will be a 90, top leg looks just like this, foot down, and now you're just gonna go down and up. Yes, okay, so you wanna be able to use the range of motion. Now if you do not have a couch that's totally fine, you can just do this on the floor and your toes would just tap the floor but you want your foot sickled. So think a flex foot, toes toward the floor, and you almost are thinking this top hip's pressing forward just a little bit. Yeah, so control this on the way down and on the way up. And your bottom leg is in 90 just for stability, and I like to box out this top hand right here. You're feeling this in your glute. You have 30 more seconds, then we're quickly switching to the other side. Yes. So you will see my back side when we do the other side because I'm just gonna flip over. Nice work. Beautiful. Keep going. Few more. You have five more seconds, and then you're quickly gonna swivel around. Okay, we're gonna swivel around to the other side, do the same thing. Okay, so sickle foot. Now you have a little different angle. You can kind of see it in a little different way here. Hand is boxed out. This top hip is nice and rotated down. Yes. So really think mind to muscle to your glute here. After this side, we'll get a quick 30 second break. 
Try to find a nice range of motion if you can. If you're off a couch or off a bench, that'd be helpful. You just want to find this range of motion. Give it a few more. 20 more seconds. Breathe. Yeah, so squeeze on the way up and control it and squeeze on the way down. So don't let gravity, you're going to fight against gravity here. Five more seconds. You've got the straightest leg. One more. Okay, that's it. 30 seconds and we're just repeating that. Wow, you should really feel that. Okay, so I know that setup went really fast, so I'm going to talk you through it again here. You still have 15 more seconds. Okay, so you want to make sure that you are a little bit off of the couch here, okay? Or off of your bench so that you can have that range of motion, okay? That's really helpful. Your bottom leg is in that 90 degrees, your head is rested, and you have backs out. You have three more seconds, nice flex of your foot, two, one. Okay, lift and lower. Yes, okay, so abs are in. Think of pressing up with your heel, down with your toes. And like I said, fight gravity, wow. This set is intense. Who would have thought? All I'm wearing is two pound ankle weights, but my glutes and my thighs are on fire. You have just about 30 more seconds on this side and you breathe through this. Yes. In through your nose, out through your mouth, send oxygen to your working muscles. You've almost been with me for 20 minutes. You have 15 more seconds. Then we're gonna quickly flip around and do the other side. No time to waste. Lift up and lower. Okay, if we swivel around, here we go. Lift and lower. Okay, so bottom foot 90 degrees for support, for balance, for stability. Top leg is straight. You have a flexed foot and your toes are toward the floor. Your heels are lifting up. Breathe. Nice. Yes, you're feeling this right here. I know I am. You have one more set through here. This is your last lower body move. Nice work. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Your core is still engaged. You have less than 30 seconds. Fight gravity, remember? Ooh, this is tough, this is intense. 15 more seconds on the clock. And you'll have your 30 second break. Burning out every muscle in our glute here. Five, four, three, slow, two, and one. Woo! Okay, 30 seconds. One more time through each side. Yes. Feeling it there, maybe you wanna kinda of pound it out, get yourself ready. You have 12 more seconds, so I'm gonna to start to get into position. Okay, find your range of motion here. Maybe you wanna go a little bit more towards the edge. The more range of motion, the more intense. Three, two, one, go. Lift and lower, whoa, it's a lot of range of motion. So you play around with it. If you need to shorten your range of motion, make it a little bit smaller, you can. Yes. So you want to make sure you keep the sickled foot here. Nice. You're coming up to the diagonal. Woo. This is tough. Everything's on fire. Like I said, this is your last lower body. You've been with me for over 20 minutes. We're going to keep going. After this move, you just have two more exercises left, okay? And one is an upper body shoulder, and one is a core, and that's it. Less than 20 seconds. Yes. Nice. Intense, but we're here for it. In through your nose, out through your mouth. One more. Okay, quickly switch sides. Swivel around. Here we go. Woo. Yes. Breath work is going to save you. Breath work is what's going to keep you moving. And I want you to sit here and talk yourself into this. I am struggling right along with you, I promise. You have just over 30 seconds. Burn 
this out. This is why you came here. You came here to build muscle, and that's what, just what we're doing. In through your nose, out through your mouth, less than 30 seconds now. Yes, wow, you've got it. Find your range of motion that works for you. 15 seconds. Breathe into the muscle, into this working leg, straightest leg, eight seconds. Three, two, and one. Wow. Woo! Glutes on fire. So you can keep the ankle weights on or you can remove them. You, they won't do any difference in the next move. You have one minute here. So I'm going to remove my ankle weights because, like I said, they won't make any difference. Just going to take them off. Okay, so for this next move, I have a five-pound weight. We're going into shoulders. I'm just going to kind of shift around all oh, my heavy weights right here. Move my timer so I can see that. Okay, so we are going to come down to one side. So I'm coming onto my right side. I'll start working my left. You still have 20 more seconds. My legs are at a 45 degree angle. So heels in line with glutes here, just to kind of keep you stable, okay? And then I'm propped up on my forearm. You can always come down here if that's more comfortable to you. Your top arm will be straight right in front of your thigh. And then you're simply going to lift and lower. Okay, we have three, two, one, go. Okay, so here we go. So this is shoulder work here. Nice, okay, we're here for a minute. So I do have a three pound weight nearby. Since my arm is nice and long, that means that I don't need a lot of weight to work this muscle. The longer the lever, the more intense this is going to be, okay? So if you need to, you can always bring a bend to your elbow if your weight's getting too heavy, if you don't have a lighter weight, or you could always set the weight down and do this completely body weight. 30 more seconds, and then we're simply gonna swivel around and switch sides. Yes. Nice work. Keep going. Wow, my lower body is still on fire. I don't know about you, but my legs and glutes are still screaming. And right now my shoulder is too. 10 more seconds, and then we simply swivel around and do it again. Last one. Okay, simply swivel around and do it again. Here we go. One minute. So that's it. We're coming down to our last few moves. Squeeze the weight in your hand, which will help activate the muscles all the way up your arm. You want to keep your shoulders stacked, your hips stacked, and your knees in line and stacked, okay? Nice work. Keep going. You have 35 more seconds. Yes control this 30 seconds and you get a break and we're going to repeat this two more times breathe into your muscles yes 15 more seconds nice work few more, five more seconds, control it on the way up and control on the way down. That is the goal here. Okay, that's it, 30 seconds. And then we're repeating that. Two more times through. You've got this. We're coming down to the end. We're in the home stretch. Finish line is in sight. We're building muscle, raising our metabolism. We have 15 more seconds, so I'm gonna get into position here. Legs are at 45 degrees. Bottom arm is nice and propped up, or you could rest your head, your upper body, you know, it doesn't matter in that sense because we're working our shoulders. Okay, you have three more seconds. Arm out, straight, two, one, go. Okay, so we really want to be comfortable in the rest of our body. We want the muscle that we're working to be uncomfortable a little bit. We want the muscle that we're working to really strengthen. Well, the rest of our body should be comfortable. We don't want to feel any pain in our joints. That is the goal here. And that's why I give you so many modifications and ways to make each and every workout work for you because that's what I want. If workouts hurt, if they make you not feel right, then you're not gonna come back to it. And we wanna make working out something that you want to come back to, something consistent, okay? Because that's how we're gonna stay our healthiest. <sighs> nice work. You have 15 more seconds. Breathe. Smile. You've almost been with me for 30 minutes, so be proud. Five more seconds, and we're just swiveling around, switching sides. 
Okay, swivel around, switch sides. Here we go. Yes. Okay, so just like that. No rocking, no shaking. Just breathing. Maybe you close your eyes. You have one more set through of this. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Yes, nice work. 30 more seconds right here. Breathe. Smile. 20 more seconds. Remember, squeeze in on the weight, squeeze your muscles. Lift and lower nice and slow on the way up and nice and slow on the way down. So you're catching every single muscle possible. You're catching the control. Five more seconds. Last one. Bring it all the way down. Okay, 30 seconds. Repeat that. One more time through of this and then we're heading into our final move after that. You can do it. Maybe you shake out your arms. Yeah, my arms are on fire too. My legs, my arms, We've gotten it all today. You have 12 more seconds. So I'm coming down into my position. Legs are at the nice 45 degree. Arm is straight out in front of your thigh. Three, two, one, go. Yes. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Everything about this move is controlled. Keep your core engaged though, just to help you stay balanced and press your hand on the floor down. That helps balance you as well. Remember, you can always rest your head. And you do not need a heavy weight for this move. I'm sure you've already figured that out. This five pounds is intense. 30 seconds on this side, then quickly swivel around to the other side, and then one final move. Breathe. In through your nose, out through your mouth. You have 10 more seconds. All the way down. So blur. Here we go. Okay, this is it on this side. Final minute, and you'll get a 30 second break. You've already been with me for just over 30 minutes. You've passed that 30 minute point, 30 minutes full body strength. Just what you need today. Keep working into every muscle. 30 more seconds. The abs are engaged, yes. Try not to fall into your shoulder. Try to stay upright. If you start to fall into your shoulder, then just rest your head, okay? 20 more seconds. Breathe. Nice work. A few more. Okay, that's it. Okay, set that weight. No weight is needed for this next move. You have one minute here, okay? And then we're going into side plank rotation. So I'm gonna show you. It will come down onto your forearm here. And I like to have my fist facing my feet. So just like that. Your arm will come up. You can either stack your feet or you can have your top foot staggered for a little more balance. And we're going to simply wrap our waist and reach up. Now, when we wrap our waist, you want to try to keep this squared off. So you're really rotating. So think of pressing the bottom hip forward and you're wringing out and rotating right there, okay? We'll have 30 seconds on one leg and then 30 seconds on the other. I am going to place this here so that I can see it when I swivel around. So my timer, so I'm not keeping this in for too long. So we have just about 12 more seconds. Get a sip of water. This is our final move. 30 seconds each time, three times through. You've got this five seconds. Come on up, arm up, three, two, one, go. Rotate and reach up. So 30 seconds on this side, and then we'll go to 30 seconds on the other. Okay, so try to think of lifting your hip away from your hand as if your hand's like on fire and you need to rainbow your hip up. And then try to keep your hips squared off forward so you're not rotating your hips, just your upper body is twisting, ringing out from your core. You have eight more seconds, and then I want us to swivel around without coming out of the plank, okay? 
Last one, okay, so forearm down and just simply switch sides, just like that. Yes. Okay, so you're on this side for 30 seconds. Hold your core in tight. Try to lift your hips ever so slightly. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. You've got this a little bit tighter every single time. Last one, okay, 30 seconds, and then we're gonna repeat that. You've got that, you should feel that in your obliques, in your core, it should feel amazing. 20 more seconds. You are almost done. Just know you are amazing. You have 12 more seconds. Whew. Roll your shoulders back, roll them forward. Start to make your way down to your side. You still have five more seconds. Three, two, lift up, one, go. Rotate, and then reach up. Yes. Okay, second time through of three. You're really getting to know how this feels. And it should feel absolutely incredible. Breathe out through your mouth, in through your nose. Keep going. You have 10 more seconds, and then we're gonna switch to the other side without coming out of it. Remember, you can always stagger your feet as needed. One more. Okay, switch around. Here we go. Try to keep your hips square and stable. We're building muscle in every part of our body. Remember, the more muscle you have, you're the faster your metabolism, and it's also gonna help you age gracefully. We start to lose muscle each year. So we need to keep our muscle up, keep our metabolism running. Yes. That's it. Yeah, so now there's been studies that say that our metabolism doesn't actually slow down as we age. Well, after 60 it does, but until 60 it doesn't. But we start to lose muscle, which essentially slows our metabolism down, if that makes sense. So if we can keep our muscle going, then we can keep our metabolism up. Simple as that. So these workouts, building muscle, keeping your metabolism going, gonna keep you feeling young, energized. Okay, we have five more seconds. Lift up, final time, final minute, two, one. Okay, lift and reach. Yes. We're gonna get this entire full body workout in in under 40 minutes. Isn't that amazing? What we can get done, what we can accomplish. So it's not always about the length of the workouts, but it's about the intensity. It's about how much you push, how much you're willing to give each and every time. Last one, come through center, switch sides. Yes. So keep this up, keep this going. Nice work. You have 10 more seconds, and then the entire workout is done. Three more seconds. Last one. Okay, that's it. Let's come to a seated position. We're gonna do a little cool down, and then I would like to go into a Shavasana, a nice relaxation pose, just to bring our body down from stress zone. So you roll your shoulders back, roll them forward, and just kind of rotate your upper body around. Yes, now let's do some seated cat cows. Nice work. Okay, so place your hands behind you, bring your feet out in front of you and just swivel your knees from side to side, just kind of opening everything up. Beautiful. Okay, now let's come on to our back. Just stay with me for even just a minute, even 30 seconds. Okay, so I want you to come to a relaxation pose where you just let your mind go. Let everything just relax and melt. So we want, you know, during workouts, we're actually stressing out our body. We're creating cortisol. So now we want to make sure that we bring that down so that we can really recover. We break down muscle during the workouts and then we build our muscle during the recovery. And that's what we want us to get to recovery as quick as possible. So that's what this helps us do. Take some deep breaths in. longer but we're going to start to come out of this even just this few couple breaths have been worth it but you
you can stay here as long as needed, as long as possible. So if you're ready to come out of it, you can rotate your ankles and your wrists. So we wake up, bring your knees into your chest and slowly rock up to a seated position. Bring your arms down by take a deep breath in, arms over in, and exhale. Thank you all for joining me today. Make sure that you're stretching, you're recovering, you're eating enough protein, carbs, fats, everything. So make sure that you're working out here, but you're fueling your body properly. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this full body workout, strength style, style. I'll bring, keep bringing more because remember building muscle is so important for our everyday, our entire being. So have a great rest of your day. Goodbye, everyone.